we've got the carrots, pasta, broccoli, bok choy, milk, parmesan cheese, broth, salt, pepper, and garlic. All right, I'm just gonna tilt down so you guys can see my prep area. This is my prep area. This is the everyday, uh, everyday pan rock crock, everyday size. So not too big, but not too small. You'll see we'll fit a, all, everything is gonna fit in here. It's the perfect size for the family meal, all right? So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna dump our pasta in here. I like to go to Costco and buy those packs. This is 500 grams. Um, you don't need quite 500 grams. It's 14 to 16 ounces, so that's uh, up to about 450 grams. So I actually have a little bit extra in here. Okay, let me just dump that right in. Okay, so that's one pass. So next we're gonna do the broccoli. I cheated a little bit. I bought the broccoli florets pre-cut from Costco, but normally I put in one head of broccoli and just chop it up right there. So I'm gonna fill, oh you know what I'm gonna, some of these are kind of big, but I'm gonna fill half or a third of the pot with broccoli. I like these to be closer to bite size for my kids, so if you like big chunks, by all means. This is the um, this is a Pampered Chef knife I got in my consultant kit that's amazing. It could just be because it's new and super short, but I cut a tomato yesterday and it was like butter. It was like taking butter with a butter knife. Okay, so we dump that in there. Okay, next uh, we're going to do the bok choy. I like to put bok choy. My kids don't mind eating it. It offers some nice crunch. And um, it's pretty simple and easy. A lot of healthy properties to it. You just chop it kind of celery chunk style. And get some leafy greens and some crunchy in there. Put that in the other third. And I'm just going to use one bok choy, I think. And then we'll do some carrots. Hey, I like to peel my carrots. You don't have to. You could just wash and include the peel, but whatever your preference is. Okay, now, I like just to do little rounds. That's what my kids generally eat. So whatever shape they liked, julian, chunked, This is, we have every Wednesday night, my neighbors and I get together for a dinner. We take turns hosting. There's now six adults and seven kids. Oh, we're still alive. So, um, this is going to be for them, and I'm going to do a separate dinner for the adults, just because there's so many of us. Uh, for the rest of it, I'm just going to show you. This is the veggie strip slicer. It's pretty simple. Kids can use it. It won't cut your fingers. And it's really easy to use and double-sided. So it goes down and woo, up. See all those? That's like perfect for salads. I'm blocking the light. Perfect for salads. And I'll just add a nice little texture to the noodles in there. Okay, so now that we've got all in there, we'll start adding all of our liquids. Um, so we need, let's check out the recipe. <clears throat> three cups of milk. You can use whatever you want. The recipe calls for 2%. I use almond milk. Anything works, guys. Um, this is just what we have in our family. Okay, I'm going to use our measure all cup. One size for liquids, other size for solids. We'll see the solids when we do um, when we do the tomato sauce. We'll just fill it up there. One. Pour it on. Now the rock crock uh, just needs a liquid. So if you didn't have all this liquid in it, you could just brush some, lightly brush some oil on the bottom with a brush. We didn't need to do that though because we have all this stuff going in it. Two, and one more makes three. All right, then we're gonna put in uh, two tablespoons of olive oil. Oh, I didn't take that out, the one item missing. Okay, I love these measuring spoons because they lay flat on the counter. 
and you can just add without tippage, without spillage. It's fantastic. So it calls for two tablespoons. Just pour that in. Bum, 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 bum. All right. And now I'm going to put the dry seasonings on just because I like them to go right on my vegetables instead of on the pasta sauce. So it only calls for like a mm, three quarters of the tea, uh, teaspoon of salt. I have this lovely garlic salt grinder that I like to use on everything. I just, I like to season to taste, whatever your preference is. Uh, obviously I like a lot of garlic because I'm also going to put fresh garlic in here. Pepper. Pamper Chef has uh, sea salt and pepper as well that I'm excited to try. Eventually, as I slowly stock up on my supplies of things. And then we're going to do the garlic. Oh my gosh, guys, I love this garlic press. Um, I had a great garlic press before this. But uh, I quickly found out that when I use this garlic press, I get like double the garlic out of it. All right, now you technically don't have to peel your garlic when you're using this press. Um, you know what, here, I'll, I'll demonstrate. I won't really peel this one. Okay, and then just squish it all in. Look at all that garlic, guys. This is what's left on it still, and all this garlic in the pot. I don't know if you can see it very well. But we got plenty out of it. All right. Okay, we've got all our seasoning in. We've got our broth. We, or no, we don't have our broth yet. We need our broth. We've got one cup of broth. And again, I like to use vegetable broth. You can use whatever you want. Okay, so we'll do one cup of broth. Fill that right to the top. Dump it in. If you look deep in the pan, you can see in, in here, I'm about, right now, I've got liquid up to about this line here, which I don't know if you can tell, but that's just about halfway for liquids. Okay, then I'm going to use the solid side here. Got some butter on my cup. I just pull this down to one cup. Okay, and I'm going to dump in my tomato sauce. I love Classico tomato sauce. That's what I use. Just gonna fill this right to the top. This is kind of a liquid, but I wanted to show you how neat this is. It's pretty cool. Okay, so I dump my tomato sauce in. Okay, when you're using solids like this, guys, you just push this out, and look, almost nothing left on the sides. Look how clean that is. It emptied the cup. It's great. I've just got a little bit of residue on the top, which if you wanna, <laughs> I was about to use my finger. <laughs> if you want to, you can clean it off. If not, just leave it as is. All right, we've got everything in here except the Parmesan cheese now. We add that at the end. So all we do, put on our lid. Guys, you can do this in any pot you have. Um, I like this because it cooks evenly up the side. Because I'm using a rock crock, you have to heat this slowly. So I'm going to start at about a number three or four for about two minutes. I'm going to let it warm up up the sides, and then we'll slowly increase the heat until we get a boil. Bring it to a boil and then drop it to a simmer. So the rock crock, you start slowly at like a three or four, slowly raise the heat after a couple minutes until you get that boil and then drop it right down to a simmer. Okay guys, it's been uh, about 10 to 15 minutes this has been sitting on. I'm just going to uh, give it all a toss. Pasta's looking great and cooked done it simmer Get that tomato sauce coated and then we're going to add the parmesan cheese and that's how we'll get that sorry here these are the tongs guys just put them up like that and they clip together that's about about a third of a cup Okay, and then again, turn them down, pinch them, and then they open up. Okay, and then you're just going to literally toss all this, let the parm melt into the pasta. Okay.
Okay, so whoop, get right in there to all the sides. If you have two hands, hold the pot with one, toss with the other. Okay, last time I made this for all my family, we had uh, enough for the four of us and a full day of leftover. So this is about, uh, this will serve about six adults. Obviously, if you've got just the kids that you're feeding, this will go a long way. Okay, and there's your there's your final product, guys. One pot pasta, full of veggies, full of deliciousness, creamy and flavorful without too much flour or an excessive amount of cheese. And it's delicious. Enjoy, I hope you had a good dinner.